Oh, hey, let's just make this a city for Aaron. Anchor. One, two. But if he's a traitor, why would we give him? I don't know. <laughs> we did our part. All right, does CJ That's have it. any siblings? I don't think she does. How many cats and dogs do you think she has? Like three? Okay. No, I think like five. Okay, five. And for number one, I got 46. Which does is just confuse me more. Times nine. Times nine. Everyone's with CJ's. This is not even even have cats. You have tons. You told me you didn't. You had. You told me you had a hamster. Oh, exactly. Oh, so it's like how many? What do people study? Okay, Spanish is a big one. French, German, German. All right, seven. If that doesn't work, try six. All right, thanks. Plus 80 divided plus by four, four times 14. No, right? divide, no, plus okay. four divided by I will dictate it to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. Uh, Bryce's birth month, four. One plus the number of letters in Edda's city of birth. I didn't get Edda's city of birth. A fudge, did I you? I don't think I got it either. Hold on. Because I didn't write her down because Simon had it. Nope. Oh. Woohoo. How many letters are in it? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. Just talk to him. Just talk to him. Eight? Ten. Which group is this? This is um, Simon's group, third member. Which group? Simon. <laughs> third. Say third. Group. Third group. Third three. number. Three. Number three. 72. So number three might be 10? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, try it. Bye bye. <laughs> Have the person who speaks with an accent call me and tell me what the number is. 203. That's it. Wait a second. Minus. Minus four. We're like a hundred and like forty seven. I don't think there's that many on the lot, is there? Definitely goes up to forty. Wow. Hello? Hey, okay, we have our number. Uh this is group three. No, we're group two. Yeah. Alright, do you have anything else with the number? Like is there like a variable in it? Alright, what do you mean is there a variable in it? <laughs> you know the mole, I hate you. <laughs> I you can't move. trust the German. <laughs> and I love you. You're my favorite German. <laughs> Let's call Tate and say we're group one. And give them, and give them a false a fake number. number. Why? Because it's my fault. Why would you give them a false number? Though? To screw the other two. <laughs> What's the point of that, though? Aaron and Kevin were going to call. Uh, Tate and give him a wrong number to group one, which I found really weird. I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what if this group gets an advantage for winning or something? Isn't that how it works? They don't make any sense. So I've got like a bunch of like three digit numbers to like figure out like how they're supposed to work on the lock. Five, four, three, I think time two, just ended. one. Everybody, please come back to the room. As you can see, the lunchbox that Charlie is holding is not open, which means those eight dollars do not go into the team pot; they go to the mole. What? So, here's how the whole task played out. Each of you had one number of a combination to the lock that Charlie had to open. However, all answers had to go through your Judas which was Tate. He also had three jars of coins, which he could also solve a problem to verify those answers. Now, <laughs> now what, what no one knows except Tate is that whether by his hand or not, if you guys failed the task, he would win an exemption. So that means Tate is safe and will be here in the next round. Had you completed the task, $8 would have gone in the pot and Charlie would have won an exemption. So right now, the pot sits at 
Eight has an exemption, and your first execution quiz is going to be coming up quickly. Um, the task was pretty easy. Um, it took us a while to get the right answer, but we got the right answer. Heard so many other groups weren't really trying too hard about it. But obviously something really went wrong with the math somewhere. It was honestly not a hard task at all because all you, you're going to get a whole number, you're not going to get a whole number, and you can figure it out, honestly. What's it like being Judas? That sucks. Oh, you're exempt. That's not a fun. Oh, I must have done that. My task was really hard, and I had to count a lot of change and do a lot of math. Why would he count the money if he's gonna get an exemption? He could just tell him, Charlie that he didn't have any numbers though. So obviously he's not gonna try very hard. I tried, but like I know that I guess I wouldn't have I would have tried harder if I would have wanted the money. But I guess I don't know, getting the exemption is nice, so it's kind of win-win for me at this point. Tate, I don't think he even counted the money. I mean, none of the money was all, even on the table when we got in. Looks like he gave up. He really didn't know. I think he tried. He was like turn red. Sad. Oh my gosh. He didn't so. Good morning. Even though Libby is saying, he's my boyfriend of two and a half years, I know he's not the mole. He would have told me he was the mole. I'm still, I mean, she's not going to tell us outright. That's them all. That Tate's them all, you know? So, I'm still very suspicious of Tate. Like, Tate was obviously trying to, like, he, like when we went back in that room, his face was, like, red. Like, it was obvious that he wanted to open it. Or he that he wanted to solve it, and Charlie... Or he that he wanted to solve it, and Charlie was just, like, sitting there watching him like a hawk. I don't know what was going on in these rooms with the calculations, but I think the mole was in one of those rooms, because I watched Tate the entire time. I didn't have anything else to do, and I think Tate was being sincere in the way he was trying to do everything. Because I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I, I can't, let's go. And then we were in like the food room and Charlie grabbed some food and it was like, Kevin, let's go. You really want to get out of there. Charlie and I have been talking about an alliance, but, and because we have pretty similar ideas, but then again, it's Charlie. So I don't know if he's going to be most trustworthy. I'm kind of in an alliance with Kevin just because I don't think he, it is him, but that's the only thing. Charlie is kind of wanting to be one too, but he could be one, I don't know. So I don't trust Charlie as much as Kevin. That's why I was doing all this stuff by hand, is because I was like, she's got the calculator. Mmm. CJ's also, also a plausible one. She did have the calculator that we were doing with the, uh, when we were giving her the numbers, so she could have easily thrown us off with that. She had the calculator, so I was trying to check everything by hand, but I don't know if we got it or not. No. We don't have any. We're gonna, <laughs> we have no definitive proof. Exactly. Yeah, we're just thinking CJ just goes mostly. <laughs> CJ, when we're taking notes about all the people, she was like, "Whatever, I'm done." And that might just be CJ, but I'm paranoid. Well, Kevin messed up because usually goes city, state, and then the country for somebody that's foreign, and he put the state after city, which I wouldn't think Kevin would do. Kevin gave us the number of at a city, but he miscounted the letters. And so coming back at the end of the quiz, he was like, wait, maybe she's not there. She said to live there because it was Lundberg and Nichtenstein, and he counted kind of, Nichtenstein and had 11 and not Lundberg, which had eight. I have to say I know very little about uh, German geography, so I don't think accidentally naming a state as a German city is a capital offense. That's pretty destructive because Bryce didn't have any information. He was like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So kind of it was too much. So I don't think he is the mole because he only wants us to think he is the mole because that's a good strategy to survive. Going through it seemed like Simon was in really like a really big rush to like finish all of them for like whatever reason. I was pretty sure I had most of the numbers right except for the last few. But Bryce didn't know anything, and he wasn't too interested in it. He just kind of sat there. A lot of the players have been like mole face to me and stuff like that, which means that could be a good opportunity for them to vote for me. Because so I can get them to think I'm the mole. That takes a lot more points away from them. Well, right now, um, I kind of have an alliance going with Chris, but because I feel like she's not likely the way she's been acting. <laughs> I mean, 
how perfect would it be? Because last season it's been boys. I mean, no, 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 the last season it's been girls. And if I had to spend the whole day with her, I might have to shoot myself. I don't think it's her because she's kind of... Dancing?